Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and this is the eighth video for the double slice layer cake quilt along. Now, I'm going to recap what I showed you in video seven because I didn't clearly um, show you guys exactly how I was lining everything up. So, I'm going to show you that really quick, and then the next part of this video will be um, the next step, okay? So what I did was, you see how you have your seam here? So what I do is I line up one of the lines on my grid, just like that, and I wanna make sure that it's straight based on where I've sewn, not down here at the bottom, because if you, if you line it up with your bottom and that side is not straight, then you're not cutting it straight. So it's best to go on the line on your seam here. So again, I'm just gonna place my grid on that seam line, lining that up, and I don't really have anything to cut because this one I sewed straight. So I'll turn this one. Now, you're gonna ask again, well, where do you line it up here? I'm gonna line it up on this seam. So every single time I turn it, I'm just gonna line it up with the seam. Same thing, I don't need to cut that one, there's not anything there. Now this one, Here's my seam, but I can also tell that I sewed that seam a little crooked, and I can see where I went crooked. So what I'm gonna do is just line it up where it is straight. It went off a little bit right there, so I'm gonna line it up right there, okay? So I can see that again, I don't, I don't, well, let's see, do I have a little bit to trim? Yeah, I have just a hair, that's good. Okay, so that's all that I'm going to trim on this one. So each time, you're just going to find yourself one of those seams, and you want to line it up with the line on your grid to your seam line, okay? Yep, and well, no, that one needs a little trim too, so yay. I actually get to show you two sides that weren't exactly straight. I'm not trimming that much though, as you can see, just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause for just a little bit and then I'll be back with the next segment of this video. Okay, the next step is not necessary, but it is one that I prefer. This is my design wall. I've taken all of my blocks and positioned them exactly where I want them. So you can see that here. Again, you, this is not necessary. This is just what I prefer. And I do have a separate video available that's not in this series on how to uh, make a design wall, okay? Okay, so what I've done now is I've taken off the first row of my double slice layer cake quilt from the design wall. And this is the first block from, um, from row one. So what we're doing, now I already had this on the design wall, so I'm kind of sort of doing this backwards. But the way that you're going to connect your blocks is you're going to have your small piece here, your small piece here, your two rectangles here. Your next piece, let me slide this out of the way, is going to go the other direction. So you could do it this way, but it doesn't make the quilt as scrappy. So turn it that way, and then every other block you're going to turn. So then block number three is going to go back vertically, just like that. And then block number four is going to go like that, okay? So I'm going to put these back in order so that I don't mess up. This quilt is six blocks wide. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six blocks. So it's going to go across six blocks. And then it's going to go down uh, seven blocks. Okay, so your first row is going to have six blocks across. And then going down, it's going to be seven blocks down. Okay. Now, what I would do here is I'm going to take my first block and my second block, and I'm going to pin these together and then take it over to the sewing machine. So I'm just, and this should line up perfectly if you squared your blocks. Now, some people like to pin, some people like to pin a lot, some people like to pin just a little. I tend to over pin because, to be honest, I get up a lot and I can already tell, look, I'm I'm pinning this crooked. I better stop talking. Anyway, pin your sides, then go to your sewing machine, sew at a quarter inch seam. Okay? So 
we are almost done. We're going to sew all of our blocks together in each of the rows, and then when we get the rows done, then we're going to sew those together. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've got the entire row one uh, pinned together, and now I'm going to sew those blocks together. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this out just like that. And the same thing, we're just going to sew a quarter inch seam down the right side. I do like to keep my needle down so that when I get to this point, I can raise my foot and then make sure that it doesn't bunch up, okay? Okay, now I'm going to slide down to the next block. I pinned the entire row before I came over to the sewing machine. Okay, and then now the next block. Okay, so I've sewn block one to block two, or block two to block one, and then I'm about to sew block three to block two, and then I'll proceed to sew all my blocks together for each of the rows, and then after that we're going to attach our rows together, okay? If you have any questions, let me know, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page so that you can um, ask questions. Bye.